Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Um, today we're gonna be doing another thread up unboxing. I actually scored, which you can't tell from the box, is a seven piece thread up DIY designer rescue box. Um, I can put a picture of it right here. I think it's, oh, I know it's seven pieces, but I'm not sure how much it is. I think 120, but here's my receipt. If you're new here, my name's Destiny. I'm a part-time, full-time reseller, and I'm a mom to three small children, so. Um, this actually was not sealed when I got it. That's why I didn't cut it open. I haven't opened it yet, but so I'm hoping everything's still in here. I've had one of these before and I did make all my money back on that one, but it's been, I think at least over a year since I did that. Uh, yes, $120. So. Fingers crossed we get something good in here. The last time I did this, I got all clothes. So I'm kind of hoping there's maybe some bags or some shoes in here, but we'll see. Okay, the first thing we have is, it's interesting they have bees on them. This is St. John Collection, which I believe the higher end of St. John. It is a knit. I don't see anything. Okay, I do see something wrong with it. It actually has a stain right here, a pretty good size stain. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but right here it has a stain. It looks like it's already been dry cleaned because it has this dry cleaners tag on it, but other than that, nothing, like, I don't see any holes or anything. So a stain I can deal with better than a hole. So hopefully we can still get some money out of this. I'll look that up. And if I have comps, I'll put them on the screen. And this is a size two. So that's our first piece. Not bad, not mad about that. Next is, and I'm going to tell you all right now, I probably haven't heard of most of these brands, so don't be shocked at that. This is the brand, looks like Marnie, which I have never heard of. There's the tag. Let's zip it up. It is a, what looks to be leather jacket. Um, it's made in Italy, so um, let's see if I can find what the, okay, let's see, 100% goat leather. I didn't know that that made a difference, but it's 100% goat leather. Let's make sure the zipper works here. It's got these really chunky zippers on it, which I'll show you in just a second if I can get them to work with me here. I hate when they do these thick like, two zippers because I can't, I'm just not coordinated enough. To okay, there we go. So it does work. Well, at least that far. There we go. Okay, we take a little jacket it's a pretty small jacket i'm guessing this is an extra small and i'm going to tell you it has a huge stain on the back or like watermark it's really hard to see in this lighting but right there if you can tell there's a big old stain i think i mean if you're just looking at it you can see it but it's not like super noticeable so maybe it's still worth selling it feels nice it's a size 36 so I'll have to look up their size chart and I'll let you all know. The good thing about designer pieces is sometimes people still want them even though they're damaged. And if you read on ThreadUp site, they tell you these items can be damaged. So, okay, we have, I'm guessing this is a long tromp bag because I have seen, yes it is. I have seen so many people get these. And I've noticed every time people get them, they have these little, um, I'll show you what this looks like first. This long chomp. I've never actually found these, so it has the little on the back. But every time I see people do this, these little corners right here are getting holes in the start. So that's not great. These aren't super bad holes, so that's okay. I think it'll still be. I like the, the design of this specific bag because every person I've seen get these has this little flaw on every corner. So I think it's just the bag design is not that great okay we have some shoes here so I'm excited I got something other than just all clothes these are called Lanvin Lanvin okay and I don't know if they have a size on them we'll have to do a little research on that they definitely smell like a leather but here is what the inside looks like 
There's a little wear on the toes, but the bottoms, you can see, this one is a little better, but I still, I still can't tell what size this is, so that may be an issue. They look small, like maybe a five or a six, but I'll look at them a little better, and if I can find it, I'll let y'all know. We have another pair of shoes. These I'm not excited about, honestly, but they may do okay. These are Ferragamo, which I know can do well. Um, these are at least not a narrow, which is usually the problem. Um, these are a B, so regular. These are eight, and these are like pony hair. They're like a leopard, so these might do okay. I'll look at some comps, but these are better than the ones I've gotten in the past, so not mad about those. Okay, we got a dust bag, and I'm guessing this is a Marc Jacobs bag. Oh my, this is interesting. Look at this baby right here. Whoa, okay. This is definitely something I personally would never carry. Let me know if it's your style. And it's got inside with Marc Jacobs. Um, I will say the inside is very clean. like any other tags on the inside. I don't know what they usually look like. It just says Marc Jacobs made in Italy. And it has a little Marc Jacobs thing right here. I've never sold Marc Jacobs so I have no idea about this. If it's authentic I assume it is but I'll have to look up some comps but yeah this one's an interesting piece for sure and it is heavy. This chain is heavy. One, two, three, four, five, six. A lost piece. Ooh. Okay. Hopefully this is in good shape. I don't see anything right off. Can you guess what it is? It is Burberry Golf. And it is a size USA 4. It is a women's skirt. It's actually really cute. It's got like the peekaboo plaid with their signature plaid down here. So hopefully that'll pay for the box, but I don't know, I've never sold anything Burberry, so I'm pretty excited about that. All right, that was everything I got. Like I said, $120, so um, it was not cheap, but I think we can make our money back. So that puts it at this amount per item, and hopefully we can get some of these things listed and I can find the size on these. I hope I can. Like I said, they seem to be a pretty small size, but maybe that's the size that's in here. Oh, oh, wait, let's see. I see some writing in here. They say made in Portugal. Well, I think that's all it says. Darn. Nothing worse than finding shoes without a size. So anyway, let me know what y'all thought of this box, and I'm seeing more flaws on this goat leather piece. But I'm going to look up the comps on that because hopefully it's worth a lot of money and somebody will want that. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this box. If you've ever gotten one, let me know what your best piece was from that box. Thanks so much for stopping back by, guys. I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks.